Hey there, we're about to get into a video talking about how to develop business credit. And if you go below and book into my free money course, it will teach you the first level of how to build business credit for free. Also, in this video, we're going to get into some advanced business credit building tips. And if you want that, you need to enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. This Sunday at 5 p.m., we're going to have a live webinar. I'll actually be online, five, and the link to the webinar will be below. And you can ask questions and get a direct response from me about the webinar and about the Corporate Citizen Playbook. Also, everyone that shows up to the webinar is going to get an extreme discount. So, links below, go ahead and log in, and I will see you guys in this video. All right, there is a ton of information on YouTube about building business credit. And this is the thing that I consistently see. I'll see on the thumbnail a very large credit limit, 50,000, 30,000. And they will sit down and talk to you that if you can apply for business credit. And there was one thing I want to bring up. Uh, I don't think that it is wise to go ahead and challenge an inquiry that you got from business credit. I consistently see we're going to get these, uh, these, these lines of business credit. Then because these inquiries are not attached to anything, we're going to have them uh, removed. Let me tell you what happens when you go ahead and challenge an institution. The institution is alerted. And honestly, I've never done it, but I just have a feeling that the vast majority of these people who are talking about go ahead and delete these accounts, it's just not going to end up well. Just not going to end up well. Also, if you do it the correct way, you do not have to delete the inquiries. Just wanted to put that out there. But going back to you'll see that you can get these huge, huge credit limits, right? Let me explain something to you. I applied for a Bank of America business credit card. And at this point, the Bank of America sent me a letter saying that they needed to see my tax return. They needed to see that. I got a letter from them. And I sent them a copy of my tax return and Bank of America said, no, we're not going to issue you a U.S. A Bank of America credit card because there are too many inquiries on your TransUnion credit report. 795 is my lowest credit score. I have tax returns. And I have verifiable income. And I still got turned down because I had too many inquiries. All right. So... Here's the thing that you guys need to understand. And this is something that I touch upon in the free course and you need to go ahead and grab that. Um, unless you have a very large credit limit on your personal credit report, the chances of you getting a large limit for your business credit is slim to none. Now, why is this? And let's go ahead and look at how the bank thinks. The bank's going to look at your personal credit report to guarantee your business credit cards. That's what the bank's going to do. And they're going to see your largest credit limit. And this is what they're going to do. If you have a bunch of low limit credit cards, when I say low limit, five, $10,000, that's going to be pretty much where your business credit card limit is going to be five to ten thousand. You're not going to get twenty, thirty thousand, except if you're maybe banking with Navy Federal. Navy Federal got something different going on over there. But typically, uh, Chase, uh, U.S. Bank, Capital One, American Express, you're just not going to get a high credit limit. Also. Once again, I'm a technician. I'm actually doing this stuff. 
I have business credit with Marcus. I have a line of credit with Marcus. I have a business credit card. I have a business credit card with Capital on Tap. I have a business credit card with Topargo. I have a business credit card with Divi. I have a business credit card with Capital One. I have a business credit card with US Bank. I have business credit cards with American Express. American Express is my favorite um, business credit card provider. And I have business credit cards and lines of credit with Truist. So I'm actually doing this and I'm here to tell you that the majority of these videos talking about you can go out and get all this business credit are pretty much lying to you because can you, if you have a good credit score, can you walk in the bank and get a line of credit and a business credit card? Yeah, you can, but there's something that you have to do. And this is one of the things I discuss in the free money management course. You have to prep your personal credit report to get those larger lines because um, I've have on my personal credit report, I have credit cards with 30 and $35,000 limits. And this is one of the reasons I got high limits with my business credit cards. So essentially, if you want to go ahead and learn how to develop extreme business credit in the early stages, you want to go ahead, be there Sunday, or go ahead and enroll in the corporate citizen playbook because once again, and I'm not trying to be uh, condescending. I'm a technician. I'm actually doing this stuff in real life. And I have figured out because I'm actually doing stuff, how you can get $500,000 to a million dollars in business credit. If you know what exactly to do, what exactly to stay and how to set up your personal credit. Number one, if you got bad credit, you can't play this game. I'm not going to sit there like, you know, you could go ahead. And this is why I think videos talking about how to get a credit card with an EIN are really popular. There's literally just a handful of credit cards. I think there's three to four, three or four credit cards you can get with just the EIN. So for people with really bad personal credit, that could be some saving grace. I think it's Sam's Club, Divi, and I forget the other one. But you're not going to get what, like what I have. My American Express, I have two American Express credit cards with $75,000 credit limits. I literally walk around every day with at least, I would say $600,000 and open just credit cards, not lines of credit, just credit cards in my wallet at the, at the moment. I don't have my wallet on me, but once again, once we start getting into these uh, lines of credit, um, I, I'll tell you my goal is right now I have $500,000 in personal credit and I have 700. I think I need to look at that because with American Express, I have 150 and I have 350. I have $500,000 worth of business credit just with American Express. And I think that my business credit limit is about 850 to 900,000. This is what's going to happen in 2024. And I'm going to tell you why I'm waiting to 2024. I'm in the process of restructuring structuring my business, sliding things around, doing things a little differently. And in the process of having a holding company, in the process, because now I have not one, not two, but three holding companies. In the process of having a holding company sliding things around, I have figured some stuff out that you will not see on YouTube. You will not see this on YouTube. So. To get this access, this information, which could be for you, maybe life changing information. I have information in my corporate citizen playbook that will teach you how as a regular person with regular LLCs, how to get up to 
say $500,000 in business credit in one year without deleting things off your credit report. So if you want that information, that is just part of the corporate citizen playbook. That's just part because, you know, actually, um, I actually sent out a, a, an email to the students in the corporate citizen playbook because this is crazy because we're supposedly on the, the bank or the verge of a recession, right? Banks are giving out credit like candy. I mean, yeah, because uh, I picked up some more stuff and there's uh, things that you can do to really develop a lot of business credit. But once again, let's like, why do I say that this is only for people with good credit. And what do we mean by good credit? 685 can get you in, but here's the problem. When your credit score is like 680 and every time you get an inquiry, you lose five to 10 points, right? When your credit score is above 750, frequently you can apply for credit and lose no points. So the higher your credit score is, the less likely you are to lose points and suffer anything. And other than the Bank of America, that's the only time that I've been turned down by for credit. That's the only time. And this is why I am waiting to 2024. And let me explain to you what's gonna happen in 2024. Last year, I got a lot of credit cards. And next month, July, end of July, that's going to be a year and a lot of those inquiries are going to be a year old. And then once we get to July of 2024, most of those inquiries will be gone. And why do I have to wait? Because I'm going to get some chase business cards. I'm going to get a chase line of credit and I have a new holding company. Since I already know what they're going to ask for, I have to wait. So this is like normally I'm in no hurry to file my taxes because, you know, I haven't filed my taxes for 2022 this year because I'm going to be filing at a loss. So I'm not going to owe any money. But next year, I'm going to file my taxes pretty much as soon as I get the paperwork because that's going to be a positive year. So once I have that tax return on record on file, then in July of 2024, I'm going to go to Chase, I'm going to get a line of credit, and I'm going to get the business credit card. And this is one of the things, because right now, I am still applying for business credit, but I have to be extremely strategic. Um, there are so many things you can do once you have the knowledge, once you are aware of the things you can do. And... You know, why am I doing this? Because I really don't need business credit to run my business. I, I simply don't. One of the things that I said when I was before the banker is, at the moment, I don't need business credit. I said this, and I've said this in front of one, two, three different bankers, and they all started nodding because bankers know the time for you to get business credit is before you need it before you need it. Because if you're in a desperate cash crunch or you're doing something that I find to be really, really stupid, using your personal credit to fund your business, you're gonna find it very, very hard. Cause I see these videos talking about you only need like a 650 credit score. Now, what did I tell you in this video? I told you that I had a 795. Actually, that wasn't, that 795 was the Equifax they pulled TransUnion. The TransUnion was 815. I had an 815 credit score. I had tax returns, verifiable income, and I still got turned down. But for some reason, you're going to get all this business credit with a 650 credit score. I mean, once again, I'm doing this in real life. I give you real life, real actionable data. And one of the things that you have to understand is... Now, I'm going to say something that may be a little offensive. Why am I so successful in getting personal credit? And why am I so successful in developing business credit? 
I have literally developed almost a million dollars in business credit in almost less than a year. You want to know why? I don't use it. Right now, I got a folder on my desk full of credit cards with no balances on it. And now I've got a multitude of business credit cards with no balance on it. And you know, I actually talk to my creditors. It's like, at the moment, I'm not using the card because I wanna save that when I have a valid business use. So all of my credit card issuers and all of my line of credit issuers know that I'm not just gonna go take this money, go to Linux and buy some Louis Vuitton. Because once again, I have really good money management criteria. So this is one of the reasons that I am really successful in getting business credit is because I know how to manage it. I would not ever go out and buy something stupid with my business credit. Um, I will say I have one business credit card that I use for food. That would be my American Express Gold. I use it for food. Why do I use it for food? I get 4x points. And that's going to be the card that I'm going to use for digital advertising. There's a strategy. I don't just go out and get business credit just to get business credit. There is a strategy. There is a plan. And what I'm seeing is stupid stuff. Like go out and get business credit, buy a car and put it on Toro. If you're in the wrong market, that can be one of the worst mistakes you can make. And once again, Get business credit to go out and buy crypto is one of the most foolish things I've ever heard because you could go out and get some business credit. You get $50,000 for business credit, buy $50,000 worth of crypto. And then two months later, that $50,000 worth of crypto is now worth twenty five. But you still got to pay those business credit bills on a depreciating asset. So. One of the things that we're getting ready, because this is one of the things I'm going to do, as I get more and more uh, data points, I'm going to put those in the corporate citizen playbook. And there's uh, some more stuff that's going to go in there. At the moment, the corporate citizen playbook is at nine hours. So the longer you wait, the more you got to go through. Because what I think... And I could be wrong because I haven't really, because I haven't mapped out, but I haven't done it. But by the end of July, the corporate citizen playbook may be 20 hours long. 20 hours of training to teach you how to, number one, set up your corporation, set up your holding company, set up your operating company, get your EIN, set up your corporate banking, and an advanced strategy to teach a regular person who doesn't have a business that makes money how to get $500,000 in business credit. But once again, and let's go ahead and have this conversation. Why do I say you gotta have good credit? Because once again, this is part of the YouTube training, messaging. I am being clear and saying, hey, you gotta have good credit. You wanna know why? Because the people with bad credit will not be able to play this game. You, if you got really bad credit, you got child support issues, you've got liens, you've got collections, you cannot play this business credit game the way that it needs to be played. You can play the business credit game with maybe Navy Federal. Navy Federal doesn't seem to care about, you know, if you've got, and let's, let's go ahead and say you've got low grade credit. You got like a 620 to 650. I believe you can get credit cards with a um, Navy Federal. Navy Federal. But other than Navy Federal, I don't know of any place where you can have a 620, 650 and get a $10,000 limit credit card. I don't know of any other places. And this, this is one of the things. Going forward, and in 20, let me see, let's go ahead, May, June, July, August of this year, I'm going to walk, be walking around with two, because I got to do it a certain way, 
but I'm be walking around with two American Express credit cards, not the charge cards, with $100,000 limits. And this will be on the business side. I, I've already made the determination. I got way more than enough personal credit. I, I, and I'm not, let me, let me just be straight up what you got. Knowing what I know about credit and utilization, utilization of credit, I have no intentions of using my personal credit outside of maybe buying a car. And I, I won't even buy a car with my personal credit. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Uh, I would buy a, I would buy a vehicle with my um, business credit and a house. The house is pretty much the only thing that I'm going to buy with my personal credit. Everything else is going to be business. Everything else is going to be business because here's the thing. Number one, why is my personal credit score so high? Because I don't use my personal credit. And when I say I don't use it, like I'll pull out a cart and buy a meal or something and let it report, you know, $30, $30 on a $30 credit card. They ain't nothing. I'll let that report. And I'll, every now and then I'll pull out my credit cards and I'll use them. And then I'll let them sit for months. So, Knowing what I know about business credit and my goal in 2024 is to be at 2 million plus in business credit. Now why? Because here's the thing. When you start getting to 2 million, 3 million, 4 million in business credit, you have money to do things. Like if I wanted to, I could buy a house if I wanted to. I could buy a business if I wanted to. There are so many things that become possible with business credit once you get to those million dollar levels. Now, I've become very strict with my cash. I've become, I've become somewhat of a psychopath with my cash. Like this is a lesson learned from the car rental business. I spent $400,000 cash to start a business that just sucked, that failed miserably. Now, uh, I learned from that, so I'm just sitting on my cash. And in the future, I will use business credit, high-level business credit. I'm talking about, like, with my two American Express cards, honestly, I could pretty much fund virtually any business just the two American Express Delta credit cards, not the charge cards. I can just pretty much fund any business that I want to just on those two. And this is another thing. In the corporate citizen uh, playbook, I have what I call the American Express hack. There's a way that you can get so much credit from American Express. It's mind blowing. Like half of my Half of my, let's say, let's say my business credit is 900,000. Half of that is American Express. And that just started last July. Last July. But once again, I have spent, last year I spent six figures with American Express. This year I've already spent six figures with American Express. So if you don't have spend, um, American Express is not a product that you want to be dealing with because there, there's a bunch of videos going on in the credit card space that a lot of people are in the American Express pop-up jail, meaning that essentially they have good credit scores. They went ahead and got a cre American Express credit card for the bonus and they don't use the card. Whereas I'm a really different person because I, I use the cards. I got all the bonuses and stuff and this month, my American Express Delta was at 15,000 and I paid that off and the American Express Delta is already back to 5,100 and I got to pay that off before June 2nd. So once again, I'm going to give you real actionable advice to build business credit and I'm going to teach you things between the corporate citizen playbook in the YouTube course, that's just literally gonna blow your mind because I am a technician. I do this in real daily life. And one of the things that happens 
with me being a technician, with me setting up real life credit, business credit. Um, in five years, and once again, this, this takes time to develop. In five years from now, which would be uh, 2028, I will be sitting on five to seven million dollars in business credit in five years, five to seven million dollars of business credit. Now, there's a limit that you can get to without actually having a real business. And this is one of the videos that a lot of YouTubers make, how to get business credit cards for having a business. Maybe be an Uber driver, maybe be a DoorDash driver. All right. All that's going to set you up is to get low limit business credit cards. Because I'm going to tell you from verifiable fact, you need to have the paperwork. You need to have the paperwork. I go to a bank and I want a line of credit. I can give them my Oper well, bank, one bank asked me for my operating agreement. Another one asked me for my profit and loss statement. And another one asked me for my tax returns. I can provide all that. So you've got to be paperwork heavy to get what I consider real business credit. Like you can go to Chase and you can go to American Express and you get a $10,000 credit card. Okay. Um, knock yourself out. But to be walking around with a $75,000 limit credit card times two, to be walking around with American Express, and this is how American Express works. American Express, you have to spend to be able to get the use of American Express charge cards because it's going to go by your average spend. Now, because I have a mixture of American Express charge cards and I have a mixture of American Express um, credit cards and all of that stuff under that account, they look at that whole account. So if I spent, let's say $200,000 on my Delta credit cards, that would count toward my American Express charge limits because I have spent and paid that off. So there, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you've got to learn about business credit and I see a lot of people who are reporting about business credit without actually saying any numbers, without actually showing you credit cards, without actually telling you what you can do and how you can get this thing. They, they just go ahead and just like, oh, this is possible and you can do it this way and you can do it that way. But they show you no proof. I guarantee you the business credit card limits they have are pretty low. And essentially what I'm going to teach you, because I'm going to teach you the right way is how to get high limit business credit cards by teaching you how to format your personal credit report and how to, and once again, all that's in the free, that's in the free business course. That's in, the, that's in the free money course, excuse me, the free money course. All that stuff that you need to build and to set that stuff up is in the free money course. And then when you get to the corporate citizen playbook, that's where I start dropping advanced level tactics and strategies for you to build your business credit and it will literally blow your mind. And once again, uh, once the corporate citizen uh, playbook is finished, that course is going to go up dramatically. And then uh, once again, let me go ahead and tell you, like right now I'm selling this on YouTube in the future. I'm going to be selling that course by a phone call and then I'm going to start running ads. And it's going to be very different customers than I'm going to get. So I already, I already have a plan. So the time for you to get in, like, hey, this Sunday, I'm going to be doing a live webinar. I'll be answering your questions. And then you can go ahead and make that decision if you want to be part of this process. But I'm here to tell you how many people who are on here on, on the YouTubes can have verifiable $75,000 limit credit cards. Not that many people have $75,000 credit cards. And in August, I'm going to have $100,000 limit credit cards. I'm going to have two because once again, with American Express, 
you can only get so many cards in a time window. And at the moment, I haven't applied for any American Express. And you can only get a credit limit with American Express twice a year. So what's going to happen in um, July 5th, I'm going to go for an American Express credit limit increase. And then August, pretty much, yeah, August, because there's something that I teach in the advanced strategy that has to happen for August to happen. And I'm going to go ahead and load up on two American Express credit cards in August. And those are going to be my $100,000 limit credit cards. I'm going to have multiple credit cards with $100,000 limits. And then I'm going to have uh, lines of credit. And once we get into 2024 and we get into 2025, because when I can go to a bank with two years tax returns, this is when we start getting into the big boy limits, the $250,000 credit limits, the $300,000 credit limits. So this is the plan. So if you want to really learn how to build real business credit, rock with me, stick with me, and I will teach you how to build real business credit if you have good personal credit and good personal credit in my estimation to make this work needs to be around 750. You could probably work some of it at a 720, but the thing is, um, when your score is like in the 600s, those credit inquiry hits hit harder. And when your score is 750 and above, I, I've applied for credit cards and my credit score did not even move. So once again, so go ahead, sit down, watch this video, take it all in. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you Sunday at the webinar and I'm gonna break it down like I've never broke it down before. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.